Hey guys, it's Jennifer, aka Creole Azucar. I am back for another video. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so much. I hope you will subscribe and find this video fun, entertaining, whatever. It's the new lip color, guys. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Please let me know yay or nay in the comment section down below. So this is a new type of video for my channel, um, but I thought it would be fun to share with you guys what I've been buying makeup and skincare wise. I, um, for some reason, I don't know if I'm the only person that does this, but for a while after I buy makeup or skincare, I like keep the packaging. So I had a bag full of packaging and I figured why not share it with you guys and let you know what I have been buying. So the past maybe like five months, I have been going a little ham at Sephora and Ulta and I did make a, you know, Mac purchase. So I figured I would show you guys some things that I got and we can discuss in the comment section down below or in a future video if there's something that you want me to review or talk more depth and bow uh, about I can certainly do that let me share this little guy with you because I love it so much um, a new brand that I have discovered is Tatcha T-A-T-C-H-A there you go um, so this is like a little what do they call this let me see if it's in here um, the starter ritual and this is for oily to normal skin. I have very oily skin. It's friggin' annoying. I don't know what the deal is. This has just been within maybe like the past three to four years. I'm like super oily. It's so annoying. Um, but anyway, this is the packaging for it. And I died. I live for this packaging. So this is like the cleansing oil. This is a polish, which is an exfoliator. This is an essence, which um, uh, in their culture, in the Asian culture, it's not like a serum. It is called an essence. And then they have the water cream. So I just tried the all four of them together last night. I was pretty impressed. So if you like, I will keep you updated on that. But I love this and I did order this from their website. So I'm just going to kind of get into it. I'm just going to pull out the bag. I hope this is a video that you guys enjoy. I think I'll enjoy doing it and here we go. So the first thing that I got from Sephora is this Bosha Cognac Cleansing Sponge with Bamboo Charcoal. This is another skincare brand that I discovered maybe about a year and a half ago. It's pronounced Bosha. I do really like them. I like their um, charcoal line because again, I'm an oily beast. And so my Clarisonic was kind of not doing what I felt like it needed to be doing for me. And I saw Jackie Ina here on YouTube use this and I was like, let me try it out. And I am really enjoying it. If you want a full review on it, if you want me to show you what the sponge looks like and how I use it, comment down below and I will do that for you. A newer purchase that I got from Ulta is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Clarifying Facial Wipes. I do sometimes use these to remove my makeup or I use them like on a Saturday morning or in the morning time when I don't want to wash my face. I will just use these facial wipes. And of course I got these because I have oily breakout prone skin. I am really, really liking these and they've lasted me a long time. You get 30 and I think they're around 10 bucks. So I'm really enjoying these. Um, let's see here. I got the Makeup Forever. Ooh. Duo Matte Powder. Um, I was using this every day. Um, just a powder foundation. And I have moved to a liquid foundation now that I use every day. But I do really, really like this. The coverage is pretty good. The color match is pretty good. So I really like it. My most recent Sephora purchase included this. Which is the Too Faced Peach Palette. I do have the actual palette right here. This is what it looks like. It does not come with a brush. Um, it comes with a fairly large mirror and then 18, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, 18 eyeshadows. It's beautiful. 
I love it. Wearing it today. Yes. And it smells amazing. Um, I got a Smashbox liquid lipstick. This one is also Smashbox. So if you're wondering about the finish, you can see it's not sticky. It's not peely, not cracky. And it does dry down completely matte. When I tell you these last all day, they last all day, okay? Eating, drinking, whatever you're doing. When you come home at night, you are going to have to work to get it off. Um, and this is in the color True Grit. Not this one. True Grit is this dark, dark brown right here. Um, let's see. I got the Bosha Perfecting White Charcoal Mattifying Primer. Um, I've been using this for maybe like a month. If you're interested in my thoughts on it, let me know down below and I will do a review on that. Um, I got the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I do have it on my eyes today. I don't know if you can tell. This is my new favorite mascara. I love it. If you're interested in why, what the um, one looks like and all that good stuff, let me know and I'll share that in a different video. Um, I just bought the small one because I wanted to test it out, but I'll definitely be purchasing the full size. Um, this is also from Benefit. This is the Dream Cream. It is a uh, sunscreen. I'm sorry, like clearly blanked out there for a minute. It's SPF 45. It drives dries down matte. I have no issues wearing it under foundation. Packaging is really, really cute. Um, it is a little pricey, but I mean, I feel like it'll last me forever. Um, you get 1.52 ounces, and I literally use like a pearl size amount every day. So I got the Oil Henriksen um, this is a moisturizer. I got this with my Sephora points. I am liking it so far. I'm not like over the moon about it, but I do like it. Um, I got the Tarte um, Shape Tape in the color Deep. Um, and I'm liking it. I'm like kind of new to wearing concealer under my eyes every single day. Um, but I do like it so far. Um, I got the Makeup Forever HD. This is the liquid foundation. Um, I am in the shade Y445. This foundation comes closest to my actual skin tone, my match. I'm wearing it today. I really, 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 really like it. And I think I will continue to use it for the very foreseeable future. I have the Becca Multitasking perfecting powder and dark golden. This is what I use to just kind of contour and dark up my skin. It is very pricey. It's very small. Um, this is what it looks like compared to their highlighters. It's small. This is what the highlighter looks like. This is what the powder looks like. So yeah, but you don't need a lot, and I do like it. Um, let's see. I got two um, liquid lipsticks from Kat Von D. They were my first ones from her. Love her formula. Um, I was wearing one of them in my previous videos. Sanctuary. That's the one I had in my previous videos. And then I also have Hawkwind, which is another really, really pretty one. And her liquid lipsticks are $20 a piece. They are absolutely worth the money. They last all day. You will have them forever. Um, okay, I bought the Bosha White Charcoal Makeup Setting Spray. I bought the little one um, just to test it out to see because I was previously using the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, and I tried this out and fell in love with it. So I did just recently by the full size and I'm loving it. If you're curious as to what it looks like, this is what it looks like. I did show this on my Snapchat. So make sure you are following me on Snapchat um, for like first looks at all this kind of stuff and to be able to give me your feedback. 
Um, so now we're kind of moving on to Mac. I did purchase quite a few things in there. Um, I didn't know they had perfumes. I'm definitely on the late train. So this is the one that I got, Air of Style. I am horrible at describing what it smells like. Um, this particular one smelled like nothing I had ever smelled. And as soon as I smelled it, I was like, I have to have it. It's like a little bit masculine, but a little bit fem feminine at the same time. I don't know. I can't explain it, but I really do like it. Um, I've got two blushes. Of course, I can't see the colors because that would be too easy. Okay. I got Desert Rose, which is a nice pink kind of color, and Breath of Plum, which is a, it's only a tiny bit deeper than that one. I don't know why I got two that were like basically the same damn thing. Um, I got two lip liners. The first one that I got is Cork. Sorry. Cork. I've been wanting this lip liner forever. It's just a really pretty brown color. It's just a touch lighter to me than Chestnut, which is like one of my all-time favorites. I love Chestnut. I will always have it. And it's Cork is darker than Stripped Down, if you have Stripped Down. Um, and then the other one that I got is chicory and i got chicory to go with a lipstick that i bought that is called sin so that is it so those two go together and then i bought the color i'm sorry i think i bought that to go with retro which is like a nice neutrally kind of corally color and then I got the color Modesty, which is like a really pinky nude color. So, as you can see, I have been a busy girl when it comes to makeup and skincare. Um, I also, I don't know where my box went for um, my Smashbox Primer Water really really enjoying this i use it every single day i love it and then i also bought the um sorry my makeup thing is like right in front of me recently i bought the wet and wild highlighter and crown of my canopy that's what it looks like this is a pretty good if you don't want to spend the money for the becca rose gold i recommend that and then i also bought the Nicole Guerrero um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. That is what it looks like. And then I also finally, yes, I am on the Late Freight, bought the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. That is what it looks like. So yeah, I've kind of been a busy little bee. Um, I can't think of anything else. Oh, I bought the the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow base in Eden. I've been using this every single day. I really, really like it. And the only reason I really bought this is because I do have oily lids. So my eyeshadow would kind of crease and slip and slide throughout the day. So I really wanted an eyeshadow base. And so this is the one that I got. I also got the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I did buy the little baby one, um, which I'm glad I did because it's going to last me forever. And then I did also purchase the um, Cover FX Loose Setting Powder in Medium. And this again will probably last me forever. And then I did just recently finally buy the Becca highlighter and topaz and I love it it's so pretty so yeah I think that's it I think that's enough <laughs> please don't judge me um makeup is like my new hobby I don't know what else to say I did also buy a bunch of brushes from Morphe um I was thinking about doing a video just on my favorite brushes overall you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, I use Morphe. I use um, 
MAC brushes and a couple Sigma brushes. So if you're interested in that, thumbs up this video or leave me a comment down in the description box below. Again, if you would like me to like actually pull out some of the actual makeup rather than just the packaging and show you exactly what's what, let me know. Or if you would like to see like makeup collection or just lipsticks, just blushes or whatever it may be, um, let me know. And I will definitely get that together for you. If you want to see more skincare or a skincare routine, I'm definitely not saying I have the most beautiful skin in the world. That's absolutely not what I'm saying. But if you care to know what my routine is, let me know. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was pretty fun for me. And I will see you in my next one, loves. Be sure you are subscribed. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.